Hi, Howie Campbell here. Thanks for stopping by. This is part of a series of videos of phone conversations I had with the people involved in the making of my album, Northern Roots, Southern Soul. I hope you like it. Today I have the pleasure of talking with the lovely Miss Jewel Bass. Well, hi, Jewel Bass. Well, hi, Howard Campbell. Thanks for talking with me. Um, it was my pleasure. I've been looking forward to uh, actually getting to know you a little better and, you know, w what you're up to, where you've been. And so I thought we'd start with, how did you get involved in singing in the first place? Well, being a Southern girl born and bred, uh, I started in the church. Ah, nice. Yeah, so I was singing in, you know, like church choirs and stuff. And um, although I loved it a whole lot, uh, and I still do, it was just something more about secular kind of music that kind of drew me to it, you know. So that's what I've been doing basically ever since. It's amazing how many people in the uh, Malico book actually mentioned the you got to start in church. Yeah, I, I told you, it's, I guess it's basically a Southern thing. It probably is because I don't think you find that so much up north, which is where. Yeah, I, I think I don't think so either. Uh, you know, here our parents mm -hmm. uh, made sure that you were in church, whether you wanted to be or not. <laughs> what brand did you? Uh, who would you start with? Uh, brand. What, what denomination? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was Baptist. Okay. Wow. So. Uh, I was actually involved in a, a black Baptist church in, in Charlottesville, Virginia for a couple of years. It was great. Are you serious, really? I got, yeah. I got to play all the the great old uh, Baptist, uh, you know, co country-style songs. Oh, that's wonderful. Like Landlord. And you know what? I can actually, I can almost tell that by your, some of your music. Really? I can hear it in you. Hmm, how about that? Yeah, I used to love uh, the names of some of the tunes, like Landlord and... Uh, one of my favorites is uh, we used to do Dottie Peoples. Um, he's an on-time God, you know. Oh yes, I love that song. Great stuff. And one of my favorites was Lee Williams. Um, Jesus will fix it. Oh man, I love Lee Williams. Are you serious? I love him. He, oh my goodness, he's one of my favorites. Mine too. Wow. So so you started singing in church. I noticed you were in a band about the time that you started uh, working at Malico. Um, oh, yeah, well, I've, I've been in several bands. Um, uh, by the time, well, I think when I was working with Malico, I believe that the band I had um, kind of joined at the time, we were called the VIPs. How did you get involved in Malico? Actually, a friend of mine, um, I was riding with one day, and uh, he's, of course, he was a musician, so he asked me if I had a few minutes to stop by Malico, he had to do something over there. So I stopped by there and I, oh man, I was just blown away by what was going on in a studio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and a, my friend told the people there that, well, look, you should listen to her. She can sing, you know, maybe if she, you, you can use her on some background and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, I tried out, uh, you know, a couple of things and, um, that was it. Wow. I've been, in and out with Malico ever since. Very nice. And did you do uh, did you do a lot of uh, singing in bands right on through as well? Oh yeah, I basically always had a band. As a matter of fact, my, the band that I'm with now is called These Days. Mm -hmm. um, we're not doing that much work right now because we've had a couple of tragedies in the band. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take a minute for us to get that part put back together. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've always been part of. Um, a band. That's how. That's how I first started traveling over the, the country. Was with um, different bands. So, did you do some extensive touring with with uh, bands outside of Malico? Yeah. Well, actually, the bands I was with, I was with at the time, had really nothing to do with Malico. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These were just uh, local bands. Mm -hmm. Did you grow up in the Jackson area? Is that? Oh yes, yes. I was born and raised in Jackson. How about that? Yeah. A, uh, a local gal. Well, oh yeah, must, for sure. Must have been <laughs> for sure. Must have been nice to have a, a, a recording studio of that caliber right in your backyard. Yeah, and I, you know, back then in those days, I didn't really realize um, how important 
that studio would become mm-hmm. uh, at the time. But I'm I'm glad I stuck with them. Yeah, you uh, you were with them uh, for I mean not years but decades actually, right? Oh, actually, since uh, I think it was I, I probably did my first thing with Malico in 1969. Wow, that's amazing! Wow, yeah, uh, I was just getting into trouble about then. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh I, I didn't say anything about not getting in trouble. I just <laughs> I started with, <laughs> with Malico around '69, I believe that that's when it was. How old? And you? you know, and over the years, I've met some fabulous people. So mm-hmm. it's all it's all a plus. It sounds like there was a real sense of community, real family oriented uh, atmosphere there. Oh yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. So you've sung uh, you've sung on some uh, on some. Grammy nominated some uh, award winning winning um, songs, right? Yes, very proud of that too. You know, I really am. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, every picture I've, I I see in the book uh, with you, you're all you've got a big smile on your face, and it looked like you guys were having a great time. So yeah, I think some of those pictures might have been taken when we were in uh, Europe. Uh, mm-hmm. We were there. We were there with um, uh, uh, Johnny Taylor. Uh, Bobby Bland, Lattimore, you know, different people like that. And what what was really nice about it was that everybody was so good and nice. We would get in the uh, lounge, mm-hmm. and and if there was a piano there, someone would start playing the piano, and we would all be singing together. That's probably why I was smiling. So, <laughs> well, well, you know, uh, you obviously do it because you love doing it, and you, do you just kind of sing all the time? Do you sing around the house when you're vacuuming? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I, I really don't. Uh, everything is probably going through my head, but it, it's not coming through my mouth. I gotcha. Well, you know, it's interesting. Your brother is a musician. Your niece Monica is a musician. Do you, do you come from a musical family then, or totally musical? My my uh, father was a singer. Uh, he had a gospel group back in the day, and so did my uncles. So my father and my uncles on my mother's side, they had a, a, a very uh, known a gospel group. I can't think of the name of the group. Uh, they were out of Chicago. Oh, no kidding. So you- Yeah, and, and they had a gospel group that they traveled all over the country. So did you... So was your family from Mississippi and then some of them moved to Chicago or vice versa? Exactly, oh, exactly. Okay. The, my family is from Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, my mother's brothers and sisters, most of them migrated to Chicago area and Milwaukee area. And my mother decided she wanted to stay here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that's how that happened. But yeah, most of my uncles, and this is on my mother's side, most of them are out of state. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My father's side of the family, although they were uh, singers, you know, entertainers too, mm-hmm. but I'm sorry to say most of them have passed on. Mm-hmm. Well, well, it, it does happen, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not. I'm, a, I'm a still got. I think I still have a little life left in me. You know, if I live as long as my mom, <laughs> I've got a good 21 yeah. years yet. So, anyway, well, uh, so how did you? Uh, who did the arrangement, the uh, vocal arrangements, or did you kind of, were you guys free to make up your own parts? We were basically free to make up our own parts. To be honest with you, and this is not taking anything from anybody, but I think at the time, Malico was kind of dependent on us coming up with parts. Ah, you know, at some studios or some, some, sometimes they have everything written out that, you know, everything is arranged and you have to cut it and uh and you know you guys just did a fabulous job listening to my songs and just coming up with some killer killer parts in fact well, that, because that's basically what we've always done mm-hmm. uh of course some songs uh were written out uh like mr big stuff and all that stuff those mm-hmm. background lyrics were already written out we just mm-hmm. sang the parts mm-hmm. uh but most of the stuff that we did for Malico, uh, it was because we came up with most of the parts. Nice, nice. And uh, how long I, did you sing with Thomasine for a long time? Oh, at, well, see, Thomasine used to work for Malico, right? Uh, in the office, mm-hmm. so uh, she was basically there whenever they had a session. You know, she was there. So it's been years that Thomasine and I have been working together. Mm-hmm. 
So what would well, they, what would, I say years, like you said before, decades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time does have a way of running away. But so would they just pull her from the office? Would they need an extra vocal or something? Or oh yeah, we'd always get an extra vocal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it would basically be Thomasine, myself, and then we'd hire somebody else. Okay, all right. So so you two worked uh, hand in hand for a long time. For a long time, and not just for Malico, for other recording studios around town and different places. Okay. Okay, so you guys were, you've always pretty much been freelance? Yes. Nice, nice. Well, how did you, uh, how did you first get connected with Tom Easley? Tom used to work for Malico, too. Mm-hmm. And that's where I met him with his crazy self. I love him to death. <laughs> <laughs> but I've known Tom for years and years. And I'm very proud of him for opening up his uh, his studio and doing the work that he does. He's very good at what he does, and I just love him. Yeah, so you knew him before he worked at Malico? No, I met him at Malico. Okay. While he, yeah, while he was working there. Uh-huh. Because I know he's run sound, and he, he left town for a long time, and then came back home, I guess. Is, you know. Right, right, yeah. right. So I met him when he was working for Malico years ago. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... When we finished up the basic tracks back in June twenty of twenty one, I said, "Tom, do you know any any uh, gals that could sing? Do you know Do you know a Do you know a female vocalist that could come and do background vocals?" And he said, "Yes, I do." And he immediately uh, came up with you and Thomasine, and and then uh, Monica as well. Do you do you do a lot of singing with Monica? Actually, I've only been working with Monica a couple of years. Um, uh, you know, that's my niece. Yes. So so um, I brought her in uh, on a recording session. Oh, I think it was maybe, maybe, well, it was before the pandemic hit, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, from that point on, because I love her, her, uh, her voice, uh, I basically try to hire her on sessions whenever there one comes up that we, you know, we can do. Mm -hmm. Well, she, the three of you did a fabulous job. I mean, uh, I love working with both of them. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, I mean, it was so natural sounding, you know. Um, and that one song that I wanted you and, and Monica to sing on together, I just thought it would be cool to have, you know, you and your niece on, on a song, you know. Uh, yeah, that was a great idea. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. But um, the other thing is, um, uh, she's got the high voice, and I guess Thomasine is the middle voice, and you're the lower voice? Yeah, uh, before before that, um, I was the middle voice, Thomasine was the high voice, and then we would ha hire somebody to sing the lower part. But Thomasine's voice and Monica's voice are similar, they're so similar. Mm -hmm. That I mean, you could switch the two of them around, you know, just if you want Thomasine's voice on top, mm -hmm. uh, she could easily do that, no problem. And so can Monica, mm -hmm. which is why I prefer to let them handle that. And mm -hmm. I'll just mellow it out with the bottom part. Yeah. Well, it worked so well on, on the album. I mean, that those first four songs we did last year just were killer. And as soon as we got things done, I said, Tom, we can't we can't leave it here. This sounds too good. We've got to do a, a full on seat. Um, album <laughs> i'm glad you did it, it really is good though I, I listened to everything and it sounds really great mm, well everybody did a fabulous job and man i just felt like i came home for some reason i, I don't know what it is you know you know uh, i come from upstate new york which is a whole lot different than the city you know um, i know <laughs> in fact a lot of similarities between upstate new york and rural uh you know the south mississippi alabama in fact, I was in the army in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, and uh, Tom, Tom, and I discovered we were on Fort Campbell at the same time, and probably hung out with the same people. We probably rubbed elbows, but uh, <laughs> but uh, that's great. But some of my fa some of my uh, favorite people that I got along best with there was one guy from Alabama and one guy from uh, Memphis and another guy from Mississippi, and uh, I got along great with those guys. And then I ended up in the South. I don't know, <laughs> doing a record, but um. Well, that's good. Well, you see, you know, you're you're such a down home kind of a guy. I would, I wouldn't have thought you were from what New York, New Jersey. Uh, New York, uh, yeah. 
in New York. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I never would have thought that you were because you're such a down home kind of guy. Well, thanks. And for I saying. love that about you. Well, thanks for saying so, Jewel. I just, you know, it it feels so. Uh, it f feels right. It feels natural. You know, being being. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean, for me too. With working with you, it just feels natural. That's awesome. Well, I'm really hoping that this album's going to do something to where I can do another one, and uh, and. Uh, well, I hope so too. Yeah. Well, so um. You've listened to the album. Can do you have any particular songs that you uh, that really kind of um, stand out to you? One that you really what? well, there, 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 a, a few of them. But you know, right now I, I'm not looking at the list, so I don't really know the mm -hmm. names of mm -hmm. them right now. Mm -hmm. But there are a couple on them that you know I listened to a couple of times because they really kind of got to me uh -huh. uh, the way it sounds. But yeah, that you you have a great album. You did a. You guys really when when you did can't buy me love, you know that can't. Buy oh, me, I know. I, it, yeah, that's what. Yeah, it, it just and really. That, that, was, that was a surprise kind of a song there. Now that song, I never would have thought about doing it like that, but it was turned out great. It it's one of the best on the album, and the, your vocals just drive that song. It's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you, and it it was fun. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun, and uh, I hope nobody minds about you doing the. The Mr. Big Stuff thing in the front of it, that one song. <laughs> You're a good sport. I'm glad you did it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. So uh, Tom does have a really nice uh, studio over there. And the way he had you guys do the vocals, he separated each of you a little bit so that, you know, you could each be mixed in a little, you know. But um, I guess at Malico, did you used to sing around one mic or did you have... You know. uh, a lot, well, we did them uh, all kinds of different ways. Mostly it was one mic. Uh, and then uh, we got to the point to where we realized, you know, the engineers realized that they could set up three mics and, and, and can, you know, control each mic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we started doing that. But yeah, we, we've done them all kinds of ways. Okay. All right. And what um, you sang on Gene Knight's uh, version of uh, Mr. Big Stuff. Yes. But then you did your own copy. I, yeah, I did. Well, I did that. Basically, that was for commercials. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what they used my version of it for was, uh, you know, commercials. And uh, I think up in Milwaukee, they played it at the um, opening of um, uh, a baseball games and stuff like that. Really? Why Why? Why would they use a, a second version like that? Why would they use your version for that sort of thing? Well, uh, now... I hope I'm right. I hope I'm saying the right thing. I think Malico has the rights to some some parts of Mr. Big Stuff. Mm. And I think uh, Jean Knight's company or whoever whoever handles, you know, her affairs have the rights to her version. Mm. Of, and so they were able to uh, use my version for commercials. I see. Uh, okay. And yeah, that kind of thing. It, it wasn't on radio as a song by Jewel Bass or anything like that. Oh, okay. So it, it wasn't a radio song. Right. No, it wasn't a radio song. It was basically for commercials. Oh, it must be, it has to do with the licensing or something. It, apparently. But you had a number of songs that you did for Malico, right? That you sang. They were your songs? Yeah, I had, um, I had a couple of songs that I recorded uh, for me, and they were basically... Um, you know, I'm going to say what, local hits or mm -hmm. or regional hits, things like that. Nothing really ever kicked off really big, but um, I've had a few and they, they were pretty nice. I enjoyed doing them, yeah. but I found out, I found out that um, my, 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 my heart basically was in doing the background parts. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just <laughs> loved doing the background parts more than just being the out front singer. Well, there's nothing wrong with you because you obviously do a fabulous job. Maybe that is your calling, you know? I mean, you you, you sure do a great job of it. I love it. Yeah, now, I love working with ba my band and everything, you know, because I'm the female vocalist in the band, all mm -hmm. that stuff, and mm -hmm. I love performing for people mm -hmm. uh, on stage and doing all of that. But as far as recording my own stuff, I, I wouldn't mind doing it. Now, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like even if I sang something for myself, I'd have to put my own background and stuff on it. <laughs> well, 
Well, <laughs> y- y- you wouldn't be the first uh, gal that did that, I, I guess. But <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you do you do fabulous. I can't wait to. Uh, I I would. I'm actually hoping that um, the album is going to, you know, get to a place where I can come back in October, and maybe do some, uh, you know, a CD release. Uh, concert down there or something you know uh in the area i've gotten some good oh. radio airplay i mean uh you know i've done a number of interviews on different stations around the area you know randy wildman brown yeah i've heard the name yeah yeah so he uh he was one and uh so it seems to be uh i'll bet that it, i'll bet that we could uh do something i just got to locate a promoter <laughs> Somebody that can actually put together a little show, you know. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. That'd be fun. Yeah, would you like to do that with me? Or? I wouldn't mind. Oh man, I would love it. I would love it if you could do it. Well, so um, so Jewel, um, what do you do to keep yourself busy these days musically? Uh, waiting for the band to to re reform. Well, I'm uh teaching myself uh to play the keyboards. Um, more and more. Okay. And I'm writing a little bit. Um, nothing that I'm ready to go and try to record or anything like that. But I'm doing a, a much more writing. Um, and just you know, singing around town a little bit. Are you writing lyrics? You're writing some songs. Yes. Oh, nice. What's your uh, what, what's your th- your theme? What what kind of themes do you have? Well, actually, you know, actually, uh, because I've I guess because I've worked in most genres, I, I do. I, I have a couple of blues songs that I've written. Mm-hmm. I have a couple of uh, kind of jazzy, jazzy songs. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, because I, I wrote those after just really listening to Kimball mm-hmm. Funches, oh, his his group, fabulous. and plus my uh, bass player, who's kind of out of it right now. He had surgery. Uh, Raphael Sims mm-hmm. and Todd Bobo. Don't know Todd. Yeah, and so you know they 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 are a part of my band. Okay, and um, you know so I've written a couple of jazzy things. Uh, I, I don't know, just a couple of other kind of stuff. Just I've, I've written a couple of songs for children. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I and love, um, I love jazz. Uh, we went to see a a fella over at I think it was Hal and Mal's uh, night. Um, something night. Oh, Night Bruce. Night Bruce, yeah, and his bass player and a fabulous drummer. Uh, who had been to, I think, Berkeley and Boston. Um, can't remember his name, but it was great. Was it Cortis? Cortis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A great group. I love jazz. Uh, I know. Oh, yeah, they are great. They are great. I've worked with Knight Bruce several times. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm just i crazy about him. <laughs> What's, uh, what type of... He uh, and his wife. They're so sweet. What jazz songs do you do, Jewel? Well, I, got a, I do uh, Moon Dance. I uh-huh. do that really jazzy, a really jazzy way. Okay. And, you know, songs like that, and just even I take some of the old classics and try to jazz them up some. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I'd love to sing out of the uh, Great American Songbook, they call it, you know. Yeah. Uh, night and Day, uh, um, you know, Autumn Leaves, things like that. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. And September Song, all that stuff. Oh, yeah, I love it. Well, so uh, do you? What's your favorite medium to sing? I mean, I know Malico was known for uh, blues and soul. Uh, what's your favorite genre to sing? I guess uh, I, I'm going to have to say soul, R and B. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you like the rhythm. I I, I love rhythm. I love uh, mm-hmm. anything with a good solid groove. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so um, what do you think of Tom's little studio over there? Uh, it was com- pretty. Com- everybody says how comfortable it is. It's very comfortable, and he has a great sound coming out of that place. He sure does. Yes, he does. I mean, he, he he really does. And everybody that I know that has gone over there to work have they they have nothing bad to say about it. I mean, everybody seems to enjoy being there. Yeah, I was totally. It's so comfortable. It's it, just yeah, comfortable. It is, and the uh, the fellow that designed uh, mus- the second Muscle Shoals there, and also Malico, I guess the new one, Claude Hill, he's the one that designed uh, Tom's uh, control room, the little, you know, the the mobile yeah. studio. 
So he's he's actually got a world class little studio right there. Well, I know it sounds good. It, it, it's I enjoy working there. Mm-hmm. Me too. I can't wait to return. Well, Jewel, thank you so much for joining me on this little conversation. Um, I can't wait to put it up online and uh, get you a little little more visibility and me and and Tom. <laughs> okay, that'll that that's fine with me. Nice. And I certainly appreciate you uh, wanting to do this with me, Howard. Well, Jewel, it's been great getting to know you a little a little bit. Is there anything that you uh you're just can't can't wait to say uh as a as a closing? <laughs> <laughs> Something you just got to get out. <laughs> no, no, I'm the kind of person you know I, I don't really hold my tongue. So anything that I wanted out, I already say. <laughs> yeah, hello, hello to your grandkids or your kids or <laughs> mom and dad. Hi, mom and dad. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, and again, Howie, thank you so much. I, I've really enjoyed this conversation. Thank you, Jewel. I love you, and uh, it's been great the whole trip from June 21 till right now. Right now, exactly. It has been. All right. Well, you have a blessed day. Thank you, Howie. You too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.